Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I'm back for my skillet pizza recipe. Um, a couple weeks ago, I made a skillet pizza. I got the recipe from Jennifer Morrison. She'd been making them a couple months back. She makes them pretty frequently um, and I thought it looked so good so I wanted to try it and I think her original dough recipe came from another YouTuber. I'm gonna link that YouTube video down below. This dough can be used to make pizza, rolls, bread, all kinds of stuff, but I've only ever tried it with pizza. So I am going to link the original YouTube video and I will type up my typed recipe in the description below as well. So you have both of those to kind of play off of. So let me show you all the ingredients that you're gonna need. You will need a packet of active dry yeast. Um, the recipe will say two teaspoons. It also says just one packet. I found when I made it originally. There's about two teaspoons in one little packet of the yeast. So you're gonna need a packet of that two teaspoons of just white granulated sugar. I just have it pre-measured here. You need a cup and a third of water, some yellow ground cornmeal. I have it measured out. You need about a half a cup of that, one egg, one teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna need some flour. I have about five cups here. It kind of varies how much flour you're gonna need. We're gonna start off with two cups and then as the recipe goes on, we're gonna add some flour about a half a cup at a time until the dough gets to the right consistency. So yeah, that's everything you'll need. Yeast, sugar, water, cornmeal, egg, salt, flour. That's it, at least for the dough part. And I will get into everything else we need for the toppings once we get the dough made. But let's get started mixing. Okay, so first we're gonna dump in the yeast packet. So there is that. And then you're gonna need a cup and a third of warm water. So about the temperature, like if you would stick a baby in the bathtub, like warm, not hot, just like about that temperature. I'm gonna dump that in. And we're gonna dump the two teaspoons of sugar. Then we're gonna whisk it. I whisk it for about 30 to 40 seconds. That's what was done in the video. Okay, there's that. Next, we're going to add in the egg and the salt. Okay, I just whisked it enough until the egg was all combined. And the next thing we're gonna do is add two cups of flour. So in this small bowl here, I measured out two of the five cups. So I'm gonna dump that in there. And I'm gonna dump half a cup of the cornmeal. I'm gonna mix it with this like rubber spoon spatula thing I have. I'm just gonna start stirring it up. Okay, so now I am just going to add a half a cup of flour at a time to the mixture until it gets to the consistency I want. So you're gonna just see me periodically adding some and stirring. And once I get to the right consistency, I will show you and tell you how much flour I ended up adding in. Okay, so it is about at the consistency I want it to be. You wanna add enough flour so that when you're kneading it with your hands, it doesn't stick all over your hands. Um, when I made this the first time, I felt like I was adding so much flour. Like I just kept adding and adding and adding and it just would not stop sticking to me. But this time I only added, I added a cup. And then once I added like half cup, mixed it, half a cup, mixed it, um, it was close to where I wanted to be. So then I just added another fourth. So I just use another cup and a fourth to the mixture. And now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take another fourth cup of the mixture. I just filled the half cup about halfway and dump it on the counter and we're gonna knead it on the counter. I have tried, you know, I know this is gonna make a big mess. I have tried using parchment paper or a rubber mat or something, but kneading it on the counter is just the best way to do it. And if you just get some hot soapy water, scrub it up real good, it'll 
the mixture will clean up but I'm basically just going to knead this for about five minutes and try to get all this flour absorbed in it you'll as you knead it you'll feel some kind of like sticky spots maybe try to get some flour in the sticky spots and just kind of knead it until it gets smooth and I don't know you just kind of have to go with your gut on that one just but at least need it for like five minutes and see where you're at. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so here is the dough. I just form it into a little ball and stick it right back into the same bowl I mixed it all in. Um, the next thing you wanna do, this is how you get it to rise. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and set a timer for three minutes, okay? And then at the end of the three minutes, you're gonna turn your oven off and then you're going to cover your dough with a dish towel and stick it in the oven for one hour. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll be back in an hour once it has risen. All right, friends, are you ready for the rise reveal? <gasps> Can you see it? Ta-da! Look how big it got! All right, we're gonna set that right there for a second. And this is my skillet. I have, this is a 12 inch skillet. Like the diameter is 12 inches. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick spray. Oh, and I can say, once you take this out of the oven to rise, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 450. That is our baking temp. Okay, so basically just get all the dough on your skillet, and then you're just going to pinch it out um, all around to make a crust. All right, so I feel like this is good enough. Now, something I used to do with my two ingredient dough pizzas was spray the crust with butter spray. So I thought I'd try this with the skillet pizza. I don't know, it just gave like the crust some extra flavor. I'm gonna just spray the whole thing. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. Um, I didn't do this last time, but I don't know. I just feel like my crust need a little bit more flavor. If I had garlic salt, I probably wouldn't do that, but. I don't. We're just going to do this. So some butter and salt. If you want to, totally do not have to. So there's that. Next, I'm going to add my toppings. So I have some of my zero point marinara. I can link below my video um, where I showed you how to make this. Okay, there's the sauce. Add as much or little as you want. And then I have, okay, this is the Kraft Creamy Melt Shredded Mozzarella. I have a cup and a third measured out in here. And I'm just, oh no wait, pause. I am actually gonna be adding some chicken to my pizza and I want that to be under the cheese. I just want more protein when I eat this so I decided to just cook up some chicken. I have been cutting up just chicken breast. Um, it's just the frozen from the fridge I thawed out. Cut it up, I add some garlic and the ranch seasoning. I've been cooking that in this so that's what I'm doing. I have about eight ounces here so it'll come out to be about an ounce per slice. But this is where you could add any extra toppings. I like my toppings to go under my cheese. You can do the cheese and then your toppings. Whatever is your preference. It really doesn't matter which order you put all this in. All right, now we're gonna add this cheese right here. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna use all of the cheese. There's about a third cup left, so I'm just I just used about a cup this time. And I'm just gonna sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. All right, and now let's see. My oven's been preheating for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna let it preheat a little bit longer, but then you're gonna wanna bake it at 450 for 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is melty, um, the crust starts to brown a little bit, and then you'll, you'll know it's done. So yeah, I'll be back when it's all baked. Bye. All right, friends, here it is, here it is. Look at this cheesy goodness. Right there, look how thick the crust is. Mm, 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 mm so stinking good okay the next thing i typically do is i'm going to take this spatula and just move it onto this cookie sheet so i can cut it easier so i'm just gonna ow it's still hot you kind of need to use your hand too i'm using an oven mitt just kind of slide in it 
Ova. Come here, Helen Ova. All right. There it is. I'm going to cut it into eight slices, and then I will show you what one slice looks like. BRB. Okay, so here is one slice. Here's the thickness of the crust. Here's a, It looks messy because the cheese was a little bit melted and kind of slipped off but there it is it is gonna be so good i cannot wait to eat this um if you don't like this thick of a pizza i really think you could split the dough ball into two like you could let it rise all as one and then maybe split it into two and have two pizzas out of it if you prefer a smaller crust um you could definitely do that if you're interested in the calories uh when i made this the last time i used basically the same amount of ingredients maybe a little more maybe a little less of the cheese or flour or whatever but it's about 320 per slice and then the chicken i added this time was another 30 calories so this slice right here with the chicken is about 350 per slice um Obviously, if you add other ingredients, the calories are gonna go up or down, but it's about 350 for that slice right there. But yeah, that's how you make a skillet pizza. I wanna thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you do end up making this recipe, tag me on Instagram, Adventures. Come find me over there, and I post videos on YouTube every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.